Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Pro. In this video, we'll learn about how to generate signals and process them in LabVIEW. There are different reasons why you would like to generate a signal and manipulate them. LabVIEW makes it much more easier for the students as well as the scientists to test their system or their program using the signals because it does not require the hardware to perform the calculations. So we can right click and then what we can do is we can go to the X-ray palette, go to the input and we can select the simulated signal VI from there. This is Express VI which means we can change the values, customize whatever we want. We have different values, frequency, amplitude, signal type, samples per second and we can change the speed as well different thing so we can add a noise as well in this case we'll be using the uniform white noise noise that is being added to the sign signal now we have one signal generator this is very helpful because we do not require actual signal generator to test our code so now uh, we have another signal generator let's change it to score and remove the noise now we have two signal generators. So this uh, now with this simple code, we avoided the use of the actual signal generators, uh, which may be costly and may not be affordable for most of the people. So now we're using a while loop because like we want to run the signal generator continuously as long as we want it and uh, we just limit the speed of the loop to 100 milliseconds. This means the loop will run nearly 10 times per second. Now we will do some manipulation of the signal being generated from the two different signal generators. We'll be adding the values using the add VI similarly we'll be using the another VI to calculate the difference between two different signals and now we will display the sum of two signals on the first graph indicator let's change the name of the graph indicator and that will be the sum and the another one will display the difference of two different signals let's arrange the indicators and controls Now if we run the VI, what we'll see is on the top indicator, graph indicator, we'll see the sum of two signals and on to the bottom we see two, the difference of two signals. Again, uh, using the lab view, we do not require any oscilloscope or any extra hardware to uh, monitor the output of the signals. Now, uh, we can also customize the terminals of the Express VI that is generating the simulated signal. Uh, in this case we'll be using we'll be using only two controls. Uh, one frequency control for the first signal generator and the second frequency control for the second signal generator. Uh, let's arrange the controls and then what we can do is it will run and by doing this, we can change the frequency in a runtime, which was unavailable during the Express VI setup. So, as we can see, the values can be changed continuously, and we can monitor the changes in the graph indicators. This is very helpful to test our theoretical knowledge in signal processing and other lab. 